This is a full income report for my premium age domain website case study, Gardenia Organic. It's a domain I purchased from odis.global and I've been building the website out using this age domain for the last three months. And there are a lot of things going on and a lot of successes on this website. So I thought I'd break down all the income, the traffic, the revenue, all the numbers here in this video for you. But before we get into that, I would like to just thank Odis for sponsoring this video. If you have not seen the service that they provide, I highly suggest you go check it out. If you've never tried building a website on an age domain, don't worry, don't fear. They are there to hold your hand every step of the way. In fact, they do more than just buy and sell age domains. Now, they offer a service where they can do things like technical issues with hosting, redirection, and all that technical stuff that you might be a little bit afraid of. Their service is growing day by day, and I highly suggest you go check them out. There are no credit cards or anything needed to open an account with Odis, and if you do open an account, there is a link in the description below. If you click that link, you will get $100 free credit put onto your account. Then, if you ever decide in the future to purchase an age domain, at least you got $100 to get you started. So go check them out, odis.global. And again, thank you very much for sponsoring this video. So let's get onto the computer now and let's have a look at all the data and the numbers for this aged website case study. Okay, so let's have a look at all the data for this case study. So a little bit of background history for those of you who have not seen this website or not followed my playlist. I will leave a link to the entire playlist. I have 10 videos out now documenting the history of this website. So I obtained this age domain on the 10th of September 2021 from odis.global. So at the time of filming this, that's around four months ago. They asked me if I'd ever built a website using a premium age domain and would I like to pick one randomly. It was entirely up to me what um, niche or domain I chose and give an honest case study and report on it. So I thought that was a great idea. I chose Gardenia Organic within the gardening niche. The garden niche is a niche that I wanted to get into. We are purchasing a house later on this year and it has a beautiful back garden and a pond and a patio and I'm going to need to do some maintenance and some care on that. So I thought that'd be a great website to actually get into so I could do some unique original content on. So the age domain was 3,400 euros, which is around two and a half thousand dollars. But like I said, they did donate the domain for free uh, as long as I reported on YouTube how the case study went. So I open honesty, I did not pay for this domain. However, in the last few months, I have actually purchased another age domain from them because I was so happy with this one. And that one I did pay my own money for. So the site was 15 years old. It was previously an organic florist in New York and a lot of the backlinks on there which you'll see in a moment were from powerful um, publications like New York Times and uh, local authorities and things like that that had been using the service and purchasing flowers and reviewing their service so it was fantastic domain it had a domain authority which is just basically a metric that gives a rough idea of the strength and the backlinks pointing to a website and that was 31 and it had 103 unique referring domains so that's 103 single websites pointing to this domain. Now that's not backlinks because each website could link to it multiple times. This is individual URLs pointing to this domain. So the first article was published uh, 10 days after purchasing the domain. The domain was purchased and transferred within about a 24 hour period. A very smooth transaction. There was no issues whatsoever. After transferring the domain from ODYS, it was added to my hosting, which my hosting company is spiderweb.net. If you want to go check them out. And ODYS then sent me a logo, which they had also created for the domain. I then added a theme to the website. If you want to go check the website out, see how it looks. The theme running on there is popcorn theme. Again, a link is in the description to that. I set that up, literally took me a few hours. Actually, out of the box, it was set up within about an hour or two. I then spent a few days optimizing my keywords and making sure all my team was in place and ready for adding the first piece of content to this website. So the first video, so on the case study, I started a video series documenting this journey on November the 21st. 
and that was documenting my journey building this website out. I didn't have a clue how it would go. It could go good. It could go bad. I did warn ODYS. I said, no matter how the case study goes, I will report everything in its entirety. There are 10 videos so far in this series. This video that you're watching is video number 10. So if you want to watch the previous ones, there is a playlist where you can watch it right from day one. I highly suggest if you're just finding this channel and just seeing this video for the first time, I do suggest going to video number one, the image is on the screen now, and starting from there, and then you get a good idea of the speed and how this website has really grown. So what does my team and the process look like? So at the start of the project, the team had seven writers, one of the year, plus myself. This has since grown. We've now got nine writers. Some are full-time, some are part-time. One editor who edits pretty much full-time as many articles as he can, and two VAs plus myself. Plus, we also outsource some content from Buy, Sell, Text and to Hands Off Publishing. And you'll see in a moment why we outsource, because even nine writers cannot produce as much content as I would like, so we do still have to outsource as well. So those are the two companies we use for outsourcing. So now we're getting into the nitty gritty part of it, the numbers, what everybody likes to see. So, so far, the total spend is an eye-watering $22,420. Now, I know that is a startling amount of money, and if you are new to blogging, you might think, you know, I don't have that money to invest in a website. Absolutely, you probably will not have. I am very fortunate that I have spent the last four years building my company up to the point where I now trust in the process and I am happy to invest into new projects like this. You can see a breakdown, there we go. The domain was free, but it would have cost $2,500. Primarily the largest amount, $19,782 is on content and that should always be your focus. Hosting so far, $54 has been spent on that. And my VA and my editor cost at the moment after three months, just creeping into four months now, is $2,500. The theme was free. It is actually $99 to buy it. It is a theme and has been developed with two of my best friends. And miscellaneous cost, $526. That's things like plugins, videos that I use to run Ezoic ads on and things like that. So the total cost is $22,420. You can see the breakdown there from my main income report, which I do each month. In the line in red, 16554 That was spent last year. And so far in the month of January, 6339 has been spent. So we have a total of $22,400. So how many plugins are running on the site? I know a lot of people are really obsessed with speed. I think a killer of speed is plugins. So I have as fewer plugins as I can. I have Amalink Pro for all my product boxes. I have Easy Table of Contents on there. I have Ezoic to run my ads. I have Link Whisper to link internally all my articles. I have Site Kit by Google, which is my analytics plugin. I have Word Fence Security. And I have WP External Links. So WP External Links turns all my links into no follow or do follow and to open in a new tab. So content and traffic. So you can see in the top right hand corner there at a glance, we're at 500 posts at the time of recording this. In fact, it's actually about 515 right now. 701,000 words have been published. So the box below is Site Kit by Google, and this is my analytics tracker. And you can see there over the entire lifespan of the website so far, which is 90 days, 188,000 impressions, unique visitors, five and a half, and altogether 7,100 visitors. And you can see potentially it's growing 371% growth. Uh, it's going phenomenally well. At the minute, it's around 130% week on week growth, which is just insane. So on the 31st of January 2022, I hit publish on article number 500. This was a bit of a milestone, especially after the website is only three months old. It's certainly the fastest I've ever grown a website out. And a lot of the traffic and the numbers and the impressive data could be related, obviously, to the sheer quantity of articles that's going on there. But I do definitely think it's also to do with the authority and relevancy of this age domain that I purchased. So 95% of the articles is information and then a small amount of product reviews. So we're testing to see which type of product views will work after the Google Core update in end of November slash December. 
We want to see if it's even still possible to rank best X4Y type articles. So I have got a few on there just to check this out, see if it still works, because it is a really good way of getting those Amazon commissions and they are getting harder and harder to do. Plus now with Google on your back about them, I just want to see if it's still worth going for them at all. So I will bring you more information on that when I get some data. But at the, at the moment, we have no indexing issues whatsoever. Every time we press publish, it's taking 48 to 72 hours and then the articles are being indexed. So we have no complaints there. So backlinks. If you look at the screenshot on the left hand side there where it says when purchase, you can see the website was, it was just actually 15 years old. I thought it was 14, it's actually 15 years old. And you can see there the Majestic score, the DR score of 31, the Moz rating, but the more importantly, the unique referring domains, it's actually 106. And that is what the domain had and should still be relevant when you start building your website. Now, often a lot of those links are lost. The backlink juice and the authority that comes from them links are lost because the articles are no longer available, can't be crawled, etc. So you do need to be careful. You do need to check that, that when you buy them, that all those links are still active and providing some value. Because at the end of the day, that is primarily what you're buying these age domains for, all them unique referring domains. So if you look at the top box on the right, this is now the statistics. So the domain authority does seem to have dropped to 30 for some strange reason. It was 31 the other day, but at the time of recording this, it seems to have dropped to 30. But you can see there all those green spikes. They are new backlinks that's coming into the website. And if you see on the left hand side, 106 referring domains, we've now got 219 according to that's Moz, which is impressive. It is picking them up and we're not losing very many. You can see there minus four, but a gain of 73. So overall, a net 69 referring domains added. So that is really good news. And just to confirm that on the bottom, you can see there that is from SEMrush and it's giving an authority score of 38 and increasing. And they say it has 286 referring domains. So you can't rely 100% on this data. All I'm really interested in is the authority going up and are the links and the referring domains that are coming into this website positive. They're not negative, toxic, spammy links. And so far, it seems that we are holding our own and gaining quite a few natural backlinks to this site. So I'm pretty happy with that. I've done no backlinking campaign whatsoever. This is just good content that's naturally picking up some backlinks. So this will give you an overall performance view of the website. You can see there the top bar is from SERP Robot. I have 448 keywords entered into SERP Robot. I've not got the entire 500 and odd. Uh, it's just simply I've missed some out as I've been publishing some articles. But you can see there out of 448, we have 201 that's in the top 100, 171 in the top 30, an impressive 113 articles in the top 10 after three months, which is superb. And top three, 45 top three positions for, like I say, a website that's only just been launched. And an overall position of 118, which is dramatically coming down day on day. So overall, very, very excited with those numbers. Now, if you followed any of my other videos, you may have seen I have had some indexing issues in the past, but the box at the bottom is from Google Search Console. And you can see that on the coverage tab, that I have 533 valid uh, index pages, which is absolutely fantastic. No issues. And it seems to be going up step by step each day. So that is a lovely graph. That is exactly what you want to see. A total opposite of what I'm seeing on some of my other websites. So to give you some traffic numbers, this is the last three months of traffic. It's had a total of 11,900 sessions and it's had 23,000 page views in total. Now, a lot of those can be attributed down to viewers from YouTube, but I've also narrowed it down to just organic. So we've had 7,963 organic searches. So these are people searching for keywords and articles and answers in Google, and they are finding my content. So that is really good to see. And in fact, in the last 30 days, it's had almost 4,000 organic searches, which is 106% up on last month. And the graph there, you can see that's the clicks and the impressions, and that's exactly what you want to see. As your impressions go up the purple bar, the blue bar, which is your clicks, should follow a similar suit and a similar path. So basically, Google is showing the public your post, 
and people are clicking it and going to read it. That's perfect. It's exactly what you want to see. So even though we have had fantastic results in the last three months, like I say, around 4,000 organic searches a month, you should always understand as well that this is a seasonal niche. So currently we're in February and you can see there from this graph, this is from Google Trends, and you can see there that the traffic for gardening niche is at its lowest now, right now. So over this last three months, November to February, are the worst months for this niche. And yet we are still seeing 4,000 organic searches per month coming through to the site. So that is very, very impressive. If we was at the peak, you can see there the peak for this niche is April to May, and it's a massive peak. So I mean, you can see there then peaks and troughs. If we'd have launched this site back at the peak, maybe in April or May, what results would we have seen then? Could be even more impressive. So I think we have launched it at the right time at the lowest part of the season while we get all this content on. And then hopefully as April, May comes, we should be at our finest performance. So I'm really excited to see what this niche holds. And you can see that it definitely is a massive seasonal niche. So you do need to factor into that at the beginning of the year and at the end of the year. So let's have a look at the revenue so far. So $51.11 is all the sites made. Now, I know you might be thinking $22,000 of investment. Wow. And you've only made $51. Like I say, this is natural. This is normal for building a niche website. And if you're thinking about building your own website, you do need to realize that it takes at least six or seven months often before you even see the first dollar. So to get $51 in the first three months is actually pretty impressive. I'm actually happy with that. Now, some of that has come through products. You can see they're $9.33, a few clicks, a few purchases. But the majority is coming from my display ads, which is with Ezoic. Now, at the time of recording this, I did not have Ezoic video player on there. So the earnings there, you can see are $40.18 in the bottom right hand corner is just from display ads. Now, I've recently added videos to their dashboard and Ezoic is now showing some videos on all my content and I'm now earning ad revenue from the videos as well. So that earnings will dramatically increase. So just to show you on the top right corner, this is the video player. You can see I've added a few generic videos that are 45 second videos. I've done one on fruit and veg. I've done one on lawn mowers. I've done one on lawn care. And you can see there, I've only just added them literally a day ago and they're starting to get a few clicks on these videos. So that will add on to the overall earnings for this site. We can see there over the last kind of six days there, the most recent day, $6.34. And I've actually had yesterday my highest, I had a $12 day on Ezoic, which $12 a day for a three month old website is really good. So you can see at the bottom, as the views go up, so does the earnings through Ezoic. So really good at the moment. I am really happy with how Ezoic's going on the site. So what are the plans going forward? So I'm going to finish the spreadsheet that I produce. So that's all the keywords that I have. And you can see, I'll put it on screen now. This is the keyword hit list that I'd be working off. It's very, very similar to a keyword hit list that I provide over at Keyword Care, but it's basically much longer. So I've done around 250 and maybe even 300 keywords on this list, and I'm slowly working my way through this, this list. And then when that list is completed, then I'll reassess. Do I move on to another website? Do I continue with this and do some more keyword research? Or is that enough? We'll, we'll wait and see. So when summer arrives in the UK, I am going to buy a lot more products. You can see on the right hand side some products that I purchased at the back end of summer 2021. And I did what I call some original product reviews. So I actually bought the product. I took original images. I made videos. And I've even created this YouTube channel there, Gard Denny Organic, where I uploaded the video and linked it back to the website. Now, you can see there, one of the videos has had 7,500 views, and a lot of those will have gone over to the website. So that is really impressive, and I definitely think video are the way to go in the next few years. I think particularly video content is going to be really prevalent within the blogging niche and for ad revenue as well. So I do think if you are able to make some videos, Maybe you don't have to buy the product, but you could create some sort of video, maybe from a slideshow with some voice overlay. I do still think video is going to be really important going forward.
So I'm also possibly going to look at quarter four and where at the end of 2022 this website sits in my portfolio. Will I sell it? Will I continue with it? Who knows? But it is something I'm always going to keep an option open. I'm always going to look at an exit. Whenever I build a site, I'm always thinking about the exit of it. I don't tend to keep my websites long term because as they get bigger and bigger and bigger, they do get harder and harder to sell. So I will consider the exit at the end of 2022. Now, another option as well to grow this website is to purchase other gardening websites possibly more age domains from ODYS and redirect them to this site. So let's say I find a website that is all about lawnmowers. I could possibly buy that website and redirect it to a lawnmower category within this website. Now that's a quick way to suddenly get a load more traffic and a load more authority because you'll get all the backlinks from their referring domains. So again, that is another option for this website and something I will keep you informed if I decide to go down that route. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe and then you'll get notified when I bring the next one out and give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment how you think the website's going. I'd really like to hear your thoughts. But for now, thank you for joining me. I'll see you in the next video.